good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mac DZ, back up in there. And let me tell you, I'm very hyped. I know it doesn't sound like it, but I am. I'm very hyped because what just arrived today, this is the 24th, and yes, I got my Galaxy Note 9. This is the 512 variant. And here's my only complaint. Let me open the box and show you what I'm going to complain about. Okay, so we opening up the box here. Got to get all the tape off. Okay, got it. Good to go. Close the knife a little bit. Ta-da! So I don't have to get all upset. And I'll put this off to the side real quick so all the paperwork with all the all the mailbacks and all the return this and return that for one of my other phones. God, you know what? I'll get that out later. I don't need that for the video. Here it is. I don't know if you can tell, but that is not the ocean blue variant. Yeah. Okay, so that you guys are aware, I am reading off of some notes because I want to make sure and get my thoughts down correctly. But this is my Note 9 experience from Verizon Wireless, the epic fail in customer service that they have. All right, so my experience with Verizon goes back eight years, over eight years. And a little history, I came to Verizon because of the horrible customer service I received at Sprint after 10 years of being with them. My point is, I'm a very loyal customer that spends a ton of money with the tech from my carrier. Even if you can bring if you, even if you can't bring the latest and the greatest features, at least compensate me and I'll be satisfied. Now, I ordered my Note 9 August 10th, like many of you, right after the unpacking event. To ensure the correct ordering, I went to my local corporate store and had them place the order for my Ocean Blue 512 gigabyte Note 9 variant. I got a printout and the email sent right to me. This means it's, I'm, I'm all set, and I'm well on the way to getting my Note 9 Ocean Blue with the hype yellow S Pen. Well, on the 21st of August, I hadn't received anything from them. Now, this is 11 days later, so I called Verizon because I would not received that confirmation email that my Note 9 was going to be on the way on the 24th or the 25th or the 26th. I just wanted to know what day to expect it so I could be here to sign for it. And when I got on the phone with the, with the young lady, I will not mention her name, even though I have it written down for any supervisors of Verizon or any managers or any corporate guys who are listening to this video. I had not opened... I, I, what she told me is that not only did I not get my phone, I, I had no open orders. And there had been two cancellations on August 10th. Now I was taken aback, but I had just arrived in my office and I needed to get in there and start to get my people going on their stuff so I could so I could get going. But you know, these damn elevators too. So I told her I'll be waiting um, on her to give me a call back and she said, I'll call you back in about 20 minutes. Okay. So I'm waiting on her to give me a call back and um, and while I'm waiting on her to call me back, I start doing a little research myself. So what, I, what does that mean? I call the wifey. Wifey, I need you to get up in the lab and do some research yourself. And so she, she did the thing. She went and called them as herself. And I'll tell you why I use wifey all the time when it comes to things like this. Because my wife has a very calming demeanor when it comes to issues of, of things like this on the phone. Me, I'm a New Yorker, so Dunny, it's on. It goes from one to a hundred, yo. You know? 
So I'm just an expert at complaining very loudly. You know how that is, y'all. So she ran into the same details that I did, and they came up with a solution. I will not mention this gentleman's name who she spoke to, but he actually came up with a solution. His solution was, in order to ensure that you do get a 512 gigabyte variant, which was the most important thing to me, let's place this order for the purple one. Because that's all that they had left as the Ocean Blue variant, 512 gigabyte, is on back order till November of 2018. It's August. Okay. So she placed the order, and I would at least get the phone with the most storage, and I'm happy about that. So thank you, Boo. Good job on your part. Now, that is the most important thing to me. In regards to the phone, of course, not you, because you know you're important to me. Okay, that's how we do. Anyway, but the real <laughs> but the reason why I went in that night was because the actual person on the phone told my wifey I would be upset and I'd go in and speak to that store manager. So guess what I did? Of course I went in and spoke to the store manager. Now, while I'm in the store, first thing homeboy tells me, and I'm not going to be upset with him because he did what he was supposed to do as far as placing the order the first time. But I'll get into that in a moment. But the first thing I did when I walked in there, he tells me that, yo, you know, you should have came here and let us correct the issue if there was an issue rather than going to customer service. On, I'm like, what? I've What? I've never heard that before. Normally, when there's an issue with something that you receive... You go to customer service, whatever that may be for whatever company. That usually entails looking them up online and calling that 800 number, which is what we did. But okay. So when I get there, right, homeboy looks up, says that he's going to look up the uh, OEN. I will not mention his name either. Now, he tells me that he's going to look it up in the system. And I found this, this to be a little bit okay because he was like, um, oh, I'll find it right away. It took him a while, like a long while. He had to go to separate computers. But he did find it. And the order was in there. And basically because the corporate office had placed the order, it overwrit my blue note with this purple one. And my blue one was canceled, according to the first person I spoke to. Then I kept on speaking with, um, with him on that. And I said, you know what? Let me call customer service because I want my blue note. And when I called, while I'm there in the store, the young lady tells me, oh, it doesn't matter. Because from what I see, you never filled out the terms and conditions, terms and conditions on the blue note. So after seven days, it was canceled anyway. Now, I never received an email for terms and conditions like my wife did when she ordered the purple one, which was instantly. Good job, corporate office, on getting that done right. So I asked the office about that in regards to what was going on. Dude. As to what was going on and how we could rectify this situation. Because honestly, I just wanted my Blue Note 512. Somebody got to have one somewhere that can give me my 512 Blue Note. Well, I'm going to fill, this is what the lady on the phone told me. I'm going to fill out this escalation form that's going to, I haven't filled this out in over three years. I'm going to fill out this escalation form. And when my supervisor contacts me in the morning regarding it, I will call you back. Like, oh, I'm in the office tomorrow. Then she, she turns to my wife and says, ma'am, can we contact you? My wife was like, definitely. Oh, she's on it. And then on top of that, she's like, look, for all of the trials and tribulations that you're going through, we're going to send you a case, one of the, S, the Samsung View cases, the new ones that come with the blue variant phone. So that way you'll have hopefully your blue phone and your blue case. That, that'll be on us. Oh, okay. It sounds like she's on it. And yes, she spelled out her name for me, so I do have that as well, corporate office, who may be listening to this video. And she never came back the following day with anything. She never called. Apparently, when I called in at 8 o'clock at night the following day, she didn't even put any notes in the system. So there was nothing. There was no proof. 
that anything was being done. And lo and behold, that same day, I get an email, my wife gets an email actually, I believe, saying that, hey, your phone has shipped. So the corporate office phone that was sent, this purple joint, is on its way. Now, with my Ocean Blue note being canceled, and me having to wait till hopefully what they were talking about in November, I said that was unacceptable. And yet no supervisor came on the phone. No manager came to my to my to my uh, to my dismay. Nobody said anything other than we're going to offer you this. And this ended up being a few bucks off of my bill. I would like to say that this has nothing to do with the climate and the situation that we're in at this point in America. I would love to say that. So I will. I will say that this is just big corporations being that too big to fail don't care about their itty bitty customers. Now, of course, I am very satisfied with my Note 9 because I have an older S8 that I'll be trading in. But for this type of thing to be happening and not one person from Verizon picked up the phone to see how I am doing in regards to their product is shameful. That in itself is shameful. And I really believe that there should be some sort of comeuppance for them. So if you have a problem with something like that happening to you, please go down below and leave a comment. Oh, don't worry. We'll go ahead and make sure we try to get this viral in some way, shape, or form. However I got to do it, I will try and do it. Because there is no way that I should be watching Verizon commercials about how their 512s are available, how this is available, how that is available. And they're telling me I can't get my phone until November. But now that I have one, the purple one, I'm not going to be able to get that 512 in November because I already have one. So I can't trade this in now from Verizon for two years. Yes, now all of a sudden, Samsung products in Verizon can't be trade in every other year, every year. You have to wait every other year to trade in your products. Doesn't seem to be that way with Apple products. Doesn't seem to be that way with LG products, but Samsung products. I am very, very unhappy with all that's been happening here. And this is my letter to Verizon. You should be able to do better. All right, y'all, I apologize for this long rant. That's it. I'm going to be very happy on my next video. Don't sweat it. Love my note. Love my LG. Check out the lights. That's how we do. Go down below. Leave a link. If you have a same video, for another video with the same type of issue, go ahead and leave some comments. While you're down there, give me them thumbs and let me know what you think about it. Always remember, yo, be the hero in your story, not the villain in someone else's. Peace.